Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and welcome all my returning subscribers. Let's go ahead and see what the energy is looking like in general for you. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross spread. Instead of the traditional 10 cards, I'm going to do nine instead. And if at any point you do want a personal reading, whether it's the Celtic cross spread or a different type of reading listed on my website, feel free to check out the description box. I will have my website listed there as well as my pick a card channel, literally all my information for where you can find me. But let's get into it. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What is the general energy around them? So your present situation, we have the Six of Cups. A possible challenge, we have the Six of Wands. Recent past, we have the Emperor. Near future, ooh, we have the Ten of Cups. Your unconscious mind, we have the Five of Cups. Your conscious mind, we have the Nine of Wands. External influences, we have the Seven of Swords. Hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Wands. And then the outcome, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so let's get into it. So starting off with the present situation represented by the Six of Cups. It's a lot of reminiscing going on. Um, there could be some things that you're having to deal with from the past coming back up. So this could be like you finally speaking to family member who you haven't spoken to since childhood and it's a lot of catching up happening for others of you this could be you know within your relationship maybe there's a past situation that's coming back up or for some of you it's just naturally you could be reminiscing about a time or going back home to visit like certain family members or or people who you haven't seen in a while you also could be feeling this strong soulmate connection to a love interest here. It's like this person and you feel like you guys have known each other for forever. For some of you, this is a love interest who you've known since your childhood and they come back up. Now, going into your possible challenges with the Six of Wands in reverse, uh, there could be some sort of negative attention someone's trying to get from you. So they could be posting things on social media to kind of like trigger you or to get a response out of you. Um, there could also be this struggle with you believing in your like possible success in, in creating a business or being, you know, successful in some sort of creative endeavor. You could be wanting to maybe start this thing, but being so fearful of not being successful or not turning out the way that you envision it, that it could be stopping you from, from doing big things. Hmm. Yeah, the issue could also be that someone here is just not wanting to address an issue head on. Like, it almost seems like they're trying to avoid it. Or you even have, like, there's another thing I'm saying. You could have jealous people around you who are envious of your success or who are not willing to congratulate you for your success. Whether that's you graduating from college or you you know, starting a business or you move into a new state or whatever this may be, you could realize that maybe certain people are just not that happy for you genuinely. Now going into your recent past with the emperor, you were more so focused on what you could control and what was in your realm of handling. Uh, you also may have gotten really serious about your business or adding structure to your life in some sense because you may have felt like you just didn't have enough structure or consistency around the things that you care about. Uh, there also may have been a situation where you've kind of side-eyed some sort of like boss, manager, higher up. They may have been very much like trying to, what's the word I want to use? Trying to push their authority on you. It's like like taking their authority to the next level. And that may have made you side eye whether or not you wanted to still work there. Now going into the future with the 10 of cups, 
Again, a huge focus on family. There could be family coming in that you're pretty happy to see. You could be hearing some good news about a new addition being added to your family, whether that's you're expecting or another family member is expecting. Uh, you could also just find yourself in a space of being very content. Even though everything is not 100% perfect in your life, you could be finding contentment in how things are or finding that you need to be a lot more content for how things are. Okay, huge focus on personal happiness. Something here is going to make you pretty happy, though, in the near future. This could be some good news coming your way. Okay, some of you guys could be finding, like, the perfect family home. Interesting. Now, going into your conscious mind, with the Nine of Wands, you could be stressed out. There could be a lot of stuff that you're having to handle, take care of. It could just be the stress also from a relationship or and when I say relationship romantic relationship family relationship any relationship but there's just this level of stress that you could be feeling or just feeling overwhelmed a little bit with the amount of work and amount of stuff that you may have to take care of uh unconscious mind I have the five of cups so you could still be going through the process of grieving and letting go of the way someone may have done you or how a situation may have played out or someone who may have passed okay with the five of cups it's like you're having to let go and what could be subconsciously affecting you is the fact that you haven't really let go of how things may have played out hmm now for others of you you could have this mindset where Yes, you're still kind of grieving how things may have played out with something, but you still could be in awareness of the fact that you have other opportunities that exist. And, and that's, you know, for some of you. But going into your external influences with the Seven of Swords, uh, you could have certain individuals where you side-eye them. You wonder if you can trust them. You wonder if they're genuine, if their intentions are pure. So you could be trying your best to stay away from anybody who you have to side eye or who you kind of, you know, don't look at as being the, mo the most trustworthy. Anything else that you may have been putting off, it's like you're, you're having to address it. You can't ignore it anymore. Okay. Now going into your hopes and fears, going into your fears first. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, mm, so if you do have a legal situation, you could be fearful that maybe legal counsel may not be the best. For others of you, you could have this fear that someone is being dishonest and is not being truthful with you, even though you have been very real with them. Hmm. You could be fearful... That maybe you won't hear from someone where the communication is pretty bad between you two. And that it will just kind of stay as like being dead communication. Or there could be this fear that someone's going to continuously be closed off to you or just shut down. Now going into your hopes, you could be hoping that some sort of business plan or strategic moves that you're going to be making is going to work out for you in the long term. You could also be hoping for the opportunity to maybe speak to someone and, and speak your peace of mind and, and get understanding and get the truth. Okay, you could be hoping that something here that's been like confusing gets sorted out. Okay, I really do feel like this is some sort of miscommunication or some sort of documents. Now, going into what I see for the outcome of this time frame with the Ten of Wands, uh, you could have a lot of work on your plate, especially if you're a business owner, um, you work for a job where you have like commission or they're like gearing up for something. You, you could have a lot of work on your plate. Um, another thing... You could be realizing that someone you're dating could still be holding on to a grudge here, or you could be realizing that you still haven't gotten over a grudge. Like you may have thought that you were over it, completely over it, but maybe that's not necessarily the case. Um, also, if you're in a relationship that is very stressful, you could be deciding to like take some time for yourself 
you could be realizing that it's just way too much considering all the stuff that you may have to to put up with and still feel like you're not getting your just due hmm but this is just some of the stuff that I'm, I'm seeing for this time frame. I hope that this did give you some insight on what energy may be going on or around you. Of course, thumbs up the video, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.